box is among them. The approaches to York Minster were crowded for the first royal wedding here for over 600 years. Everyone cheerfully waiting to see the royal arrivals. Inside, Princess Margaret and her husband are followed by the Queen Mother and Queen Victoria Eugenie of Spain. The bridegroom's mother, now to be known as Princess Marina, with Princess Alexandra. The Duke of Kent with his brother Prince Michael as best man. And now Her Majesty the Queen and Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, entering with the Prince of Wales. These were the final moments before the fanfare for the bride. The beautiful Miss Catherine Worsley on the arm of her father, Sir William. The bride's gown looked wonderful, the veil sweeping down to the magnificent 15-foot train. The Prince of Wales watching as his sister takes the bride's bouquet. White roses of York. The ceremony was conducted by the Archbishop of York, Archbishop of Canterbury elect. Edward. Wilt thou have this woman to thy wedded wife to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, keep thee only unto her so long as ye both shall live? I will. Catherine Lucy Mary, Wilt thou have this man to thy wedded husband to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou obey him as serve him, love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, keep thee only unto him, so long as ye both shall live? I will. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? Now he's giving her the ring. The ceremony completed, bride and groom walk towards the choir of the minster for the signing of the royal register. Her Majesty the Queen follows to add her signature as a witness. There is only a short interval before the final scene of this wedding of the year. The Duke of Kent and his very charming bride pay homage to the Queen before walking down the aisle to the west door. It was all very splendid, and the bride had a radiant smile as she passed by with her husband. Out and under an archway of swords of the Royal Scots Greys. Then away to the reception, followed by the best of good wishes from everyone. 